Here at the Chelsea Pottery and Clay Club, all kinds of people from many walks of life meet to work in the fascinating and satisfying business of being an artist. Design first, but soon comes the business of applying it to the potter's art. Lionel Hale takes time off from his literary labours to throw the clay around, and a very enjoyable process it is by the look of things. These hands belong to court photographer Barrel, absorbed now in his other form of self-expression, and representing the theatre, Esmond Knight shows another talent as he works away at his dragon in clay. Pottery is an expensive hobby for the individual, what with clay, kilns, glazes and other requirements, so the club offers both professionals and amateurs ideal opportunities with instruction thrown in if required. The man responsible is bearded David Rawnsley, art director of many distinguished British films, who thought it appropriate that Chelsea, once famous for pottery, should now see a revival of the art. It's a professional undertaking too, and the Victoria and Albert Museum have already taken four pieces. So it looks once again as though Chelsea and matters artistic can produce the goods.